All right, what's up, DVW fam? As you guys can see, I got the best point guard in the game's jersey right here. Leia got me Russell Westbrook's Laker jersey for Christmas, so shout out to Leia. So we're rocking the jersey right now, but we are currently at the Park MGM right now. We're actually staying here. This is our first night, so we thought to try out Best Friend by Roy Choi. It's a pretty popular Korean barbecue restaurant here, so let's try it out. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right, about to go downstairs and see what Roy Choi got for us. Let's go. So this is the lobby of the best friend before you check in. It's very colorful. They have a lot of merch, a lot of snacks you can buy, and all that. So we're about to be in here in a sec. So yeah, guys, we're gonna try out Best Friend by Roy Choi for the first time today, guys. So we're trying LA food in Vegas, and we're from LA. LA exception. Mm -hmm. LA Vegas exception. So we just got into the best friend. It's very loud, so we're gonna have to be talking the whole time to drown out the music. So we don't get copyrighted, but very dark and I feel like it has a very trendy vibe. Very great decoration. It's almost like a speakeasy because you walk in, it's like a little merch store, liquor store, and then inside there's like a cool little restaurant. Kind of reminds me in a way of Momofuku to be honest, but more hipster. It's cool. It's very trendy. They have like, it's. He, I think he does Korean Mexican stuff, so there's a lot of Mexican cultural influences, like the candles. They have like a Virgin Mary candle. The LA. It's, I see what they're trying to do here. So if you guys don't know about Roy Choi, he's the owner of the Kogi truck, which is an extremely popular Korean-American Korean fusion truck. Yeah, Korean-Mexican-American fusion truck. This is supposed to be, you know, I guess the higher class version of that taco truck. So let's see how it is. So they got the complimentary bread for us, these bread rolls. Very let's soft. see how they are. Let me tell you right now, they're very soft and good. Mm-hmm. Some good bread as far as bread goes. <laughs> Ooh, it's very, very soft. Let's see. Mm. It's like some, I guess like butter or some spread on top. Kind of tastes like a very soft Hawaiian roll, but not sweet. All right, y'all, so this is our first dish. We ordered three dishes. This is like the pork belly bowl. So it's like a bowl full of everything. It looks like a bunch of stuff in here. It looks like some rice. There was like an egg on top. We mixed everything. Had some broccolini, some radishes for Koreans. It just looks like a big bowl of mush. So let's try it out. Let's see what Roy Choi got for us. Pork belly is that where it's at. It's pretty good. Very sweet. Has like a nice little crust on the outside. A lot of flavors in the bowl. You get the crunchiness from the broccolini. You get the sweetness from the radish. The rice is surprisingly very soft with a little bit of crust on the outside. Some garnish on it. It's a lot of flavor in this. I'll say that this dish has a lot of fragrance, a lot of flavor. It's very interesting. But the standout is the pork, the sweet pork belly. Very sweet. I like the flavor on it, but we're gonna have to be a little bit, you know, harsh on the reviews because this place is a lot more expensive than the Kogi Shark. I know we're in Vegas, but a lot of the prices of every dish is very high, so we expect everything to be good. So I'm gonna give you guys a final DVW score at the end of this whole place. So stay tuned. Hey Leia, so our August Chillis has just appeared. What do you think about it? So this is kind of like Korean Mexican fusion. So Lady eats a lot of Mexican food. So she's gonna tell us how she thinks about the August Chillis. What do you think about the August Chillis? I'm not gonna lie, this is like the saddest August Chillis I've ever seen in my entire life. Like it should be like drowned with shrimp, but it looks like so, like look like they literally served us like a half-eaten like where's the shrimp? But I mean I don't know. I guess it depends on the flavor. There's literally like wait hold on. It's very tiny. It should really be like a really like when you get a good awashilis, it should be like a bunch of shrimp on top of each other, piles and with a lot of the green sauce. But this is just very sad. But let's try it out. I don't know. We'll see. And there's no tostadas. Maybe it's like this is substituted for instead of shrimp, it's marinated with hamachi, which is another fish. I'm not really I'm not too familiar with it, but I'm gonna try it. Just a small piece and see how it tastes. So I'm gonna try their August chiles. It has a lot of garnish on it. I see some radish, sliced cucumber, some chilies, and so I guess the fish is hamachi. So I do agree with Leia. It is pretty tiny, but let's see if the flavor makes up for it. So I'm gonna grab a big piece of fish. Oh, 
So the fish is very tender and very good, very fresh. And if you guys haven't had aqua chili before, it's like a the sauce is like a lemony, spicy sauce. And I feel like it is fusion because I don't know if you had a Cambodian food, but there's like a Cambodian flair to it. I use some Asian peppers and chilies in here, I feel like, instead of some of like the Mexican jalapeno peppers. It's actually pretty good, but yeah, like Leia said, it is very small, so. But yeah, it does pack a punch, it does pack a flavor. The flavor comes from the sauce, it's like a lemony sauce with a lot of spice in it, a lot of chili peppers in it, and you got these sweetness from the radishes, so. I actually do like the sauce, but yeah, like I said, I wish there was more. So I'm gonna try a piece of their kalbi off their sizzling plate. So, you know, kalbi is a very traditional Korean dish. It's almost a staple in Korean food. So this should be good. I'm gonna be a harsher critic on this one. Mm. So A plus on presentation, they brought out on a frying hot sizzling skillet. flavors there it has a nice sweet consistency on the outside a little bit of a crust on the outside and the inside is moist it's a perfectly cooked galbi but like Liz said it is a bit expensive $33 for this galbi I would say that galbi is one of the most basic dishes so all the other dishes I had the August chilies and the pork bowl were kind of fusion you know something that I haven't kind of tasted before it's a good galbi but it's nothing really stands out about this galbi for it being so expensive so I'll give this a solid seven out seven and a half out of ten it's a good galbi but it's just basic for you know Vegas standards I guess so yeah Dad makes really good galbi um, if you go over to his house he might make you some and it I don't know it has really good sweet flavor as compared to this one I prefer his this is a little bit basic nothing much nothing special about it it's good it's all right we're back from our casual dinner at the best friend downstairs at the park MGM. So just some finishing thoughts because it was super loud in there. I'm gonna give you guys my rating and DVW score. So overall in a nutshell, the food was good. It was supposed to be some fusion, Mexican, Korean, Asian, American fusion. I felt that I tasted that in some of the dishes. We got the aguas chiles, the calbi ribs, and the pork belly bowl. And for each one of that, I would say I rate the pork belly bowl like an 8.5 out of 10. It had a lot of flavors, textures. It was pretty good. So I felt the, you know, creativity there. The galbi, I'll have to give it a 7 out of 10 just because it just tastes like regular galbi and it was on the expensive side. And then the August chiles, I would say that was probably my favorite dish there, even though it was very small, but I felt like it truly embodied the fusion theme in that dish. The fish was fresh, good, sweet, delicious, and the flavor came from the sauce. The chili and the lemon spices in there it was just amazing i really like that dish and overall i feel like the vibes of that place is like you take someone there you want to impress who hasn't been to la before you want to show them the la vibes the music there was great so i give them a 10 out of 10 i love hip-hop they play like la urban street music there and there was very dark loud very intimate vibe so it was just cool all together so dvw score i'll give that place a solid 8 out of 10. It was a bit pricey, but it was actually good. I enjoyed, you know, most of the items there. So, what do you think about the place? <clears throat> it was good. It's not that I didn't like the food. Everything was good, but it's my taste for Korean-Mexican fusion. For some reason, um, it's those flavors that mm -hmm. are kind of like on the dishes that I'm not sure, like, if my taste buds are what they're catching but it overall was pretty good like all the dishes were solid mm -hmm. like eight for me and yeah. the place was cool it was like i felt like i was back in LA. they had really good music too mm -hmm. so it was cool yeah Lay is a harsher critic on Mexican food, which I don't blame her because she eats a lot of aguas chiles. I don't eat as much aguas chiles as her. So yeah, being generous, a solid eight out of ten. It's just a cool, vibey place to go if you're in Vegas. So yeah, if you guys are really looking for you know galbi, real authentic Korean barbecue food, and don't want to break the bank, this place has a different target audience. It's on the strip. So if you're you know partying you want to have a good time have some good food you go here but yeah so spring mountain road chinatown las vegas has some great authentic just pure korean food if you're looking for that so just a little fyi and all you can eat korean barbecue too if you guys like this video like it comment down below some recommendations for us and subscribe for more food vlogs deuces